Hello, this is Paul Stevens from Bootstrap Local Marketing. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about keywords and the impact they can have on whether or not you're getting found online. You may not have a website, but your business is probably listed. I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. We're going to start off at Google. If you're looking for information about keywords, Google is the place to be. But when you go to the Google search engine page, you have to notice something and you have to take some steps. Here's a headshot of me because I have a Gmail account and therefore I have a Google search account. I also automatically have a YouTube account. If I was to do a search right now and uh, I was looking for particular keywords and I had vi visited a website that had those keywords associated with it, Google would automatically serve up that website whether that's what I was looking for or not. Google personalizes your search results hoping to get a better result. So the first thing you have to do is to sign out of Google if you want to get an independent, untainted um, look at what people might find when they go online. So just put your mouse uh, cursor over the little icon up at the front, left click, sign out. Okay, there we are. It's given me the little indication it wants me to sign in. That means it doesn't know who I am. So that's how we want to do our search. Let's try, it. Let's try looking for uh, heating contractors near Havelock. I live near Havelock, and I recently uh, dealt with a heating contractor. So, um, uh, you know, it just is a search that makes sense and what I had to do. Now, sometimes you need more than just the, the name of the town you're uh, living near. Uh, there is a Havelock in North Carolina. There's one in the UK. There's one in New Zealand. So we're going to have to add another modifier here. Okay, heating contractors near Havelock, Ontario. Well, yellow page result. Here's a gold book re result with a contractor. Gold book result. Another gold book result. But here's what we really want to land in if we're uh, any kind of a business. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From A to G, that's called the Google 7 pack. If there are seven or more uh, businesses that meet the requirements of the search, then Google will serve up a seven pack along with the maps and uh, that makes it very easy for people to find out what they're looking for. Uh, automatically you see the phone numbers, you see the towns they're in, and in this case one, two, three, we have three from Havelock. So, so Google has pretty much met our search requirements. Down below you can see that uh, we have a couple other ones and then we have some uh, directories, online business directories. I begin uh, trusted pros, those are online directories, so there'll be lists of people down there, but often people don't like go going to those. They just want to look for a name, somebody they can use. So that's great. So if you're a heating contractor and you happen to be one of those uh, seven that were served up, uh, good for you. But not everybody would use the terms heating contractors if something was wrong. In my case, uh, I had a problem with my furnace, so uh, instead of putting in a heating contractor, I put in uh, furnace repairs. Okay, and here's some results. Uh, we don't have a nice clean uh, list of people like we did before. We have a couple yellow page results. There's G.R. Anderson. Now, I, I don't recall him being in the uh, list that we had before. Here's the list of people that showed up in the, in the Google 7 pack, and it's no G.R. Anderson. As a matter of fact, None of the people that were in the seven pack show up for our search for uh, furnace repairs. Uh, and that's not good because furnace repair near Havelock is something that uh, you might see being used. Let's try a different set of keywords. In this, in this case, let's try oil furnace. Okay, here we are, oil furnace repair near Havelock. Uh, again, um, some yellow page results. Kelly's propane, Earl Rosebush fuels. Well, I don't know where they're located. It looks like Belleville. Uh, but see, they, they mentioned that they service these areas. That's why he would have come up uh, as a result. And then some Kijiji classified ads. Uh, Renee's Total Home Comfort. There they are. So we do have a result for Renee's Total Home Comfort. They're not in Havelock, but we know that we did have three Havelock, uh, for, uh, or I should say heating contractors there. It's and none of them are showing up for oil furnace repair. Let's try another uh, keyword search. Let's look for propane furnace. 
Okay, propane furnished near Havelock. What do we have here? Yellow pages. Uh, Kelly's Fuel, Superior Propane. Well, Kelly's Fuel is out of Peterborough, and then Superior Propane out of Peterborough and Bancroft. Looking further down the page, now we have some real estate listings. Uh, Kinetic Energy Services. Let's take a look. There we are, Kinetic Energy Services, Havelock. And then some Havelock houses for sale. So, so we've looked for three sets of keywords. We've looked for furnace repair, oil furnace repair, and propane furnace. And uh, one would have expected that there would be three Havelock results for each of those sets of key, uh, keywords, but uh, that's, that's not the result we got. Uh, one of them turned up one contractor, uh, Renee's Total Home Comfort from Campbellford, actually, and then um, one of them turned up one contractor from Havelock. So that's less than perfect results for some pretty common keyword searches that I would expect to see. Um, ideally, Ideally, when people search for a solution or for a problem or when they're looking for a solution to a problem they have and you're a company that can provide that solution, you will come up. If you don't come up and it's terms that people might commonly use when they're looking for a solution, then you're losing money. You need to look at how you describe your business, what words are on your word website, what words are associated with your company and any of the directories that you show up in out there. And um, and if the proper words aren't there, you need to see about getting the proper words associated with your company name. When people are looking for solutions and you don't show up, guess what? That's costing you money. Paul Stevens, Bootstrap Local Marketing. I hope this has been useful for you. And uh, if it's given you a few ideas of how you can improve things for yourself, that's great. Take care.